Hello Libra, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone's doing great. We're here for your July general reading. We're getting the overall messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, we have Between Two Worlds, Libra. Between Two Worlds. So you're making a transition of some sort. Okay. Next card up is Going the Distance. Okay, I like it. You're really... Great Treasure Island. Whoa. You may be traveling. I'm getting the feeling many of you are. Let me see if I can move out of the sunlight coming through the window. <laughs> a little awkward there. Okay. So Libra, we're going to do a 10-card Celtic, and we're going to clarify the cards and see what is going on for you in your love life. I will give you a table shot once all the cards are on the table uh, when I start to clarify them. So let's do 10-card Celtic. Please, Spirit, give us accurate messages and useful messages for our Libra friends for the month of July. Okay. Ten of Wands, you're going to have to let something go, Libra. You're carrying too much of the burden. It's interesting because a burden is carrying a lot of flowers, and flowers represent growth and love and all the sweet things in life. But it says, it looks like you might be doing more, you might be doing more than your fair share in a relationship. The card that's crossing it for ill or good is a Knight of Swords. So you need to speak up, I think, is what's coming in here. The Eight of Swords, self-imposed imprisonment, sort of self-imposed restriction, is a card that is Gemini. So we have Gemini, we have Gemini, and the Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. So we also see that you're holding on to something. You're holding on to your money. You're saving money. It doesn't look like you really want to spend much. You might be doing a, you might be saving up for a home improvement project since she's holding a house in her hand. The Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini energy three times. Is there a Gemini that's making your life crazy? Or do you have Gemini in your chart? That's a very challenging reading. You feel as all, all eyes are upon you and not in a good way. The Seven of Wands energy says that you feel like you need to break out of a restriction of some sort. So let's look and see. And the energy that represents you going forward, look at this, the Ten of Pentacles, wealth, abundance, a beautiful home, a, a traditional a marriage. You could be planning on getting married. The Sun card, wow, Libra, happiest card in the deck really speaks to uh, a great month ahead. Definitely letting go. You, you're going through something right now, but we'll see what it is. That's a daisy. Okay, we have Six of Wands, a victory. A victory is coming in for you. You have Leo energy. You have, again, Virgo energy. The Sun card is Leo energy, of course. The Knight of Cups, you do have someone... You're hoping someone comes forward and makes a love offer. There's someone you have your eye on. And the Emperor card says that as your outcome, you're manifesting what you want this month. That is Aries energy. It's being very strategic. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards. I think you have several areas of your life that are going to be, that are definitely in transformation. Okay, so when we get the Ten of Wands, that is a burden that you are letting go of, and you're going to speak up. It looks like you're going to clarify something. The Tower card, though, says that you better be careful. So the Tower card is one of those cards that you can start and you can start an argument, and if it blows too hot, you're going to burn the house down, so to speak, emotionally with someone. Nine of Swords says you might have remorse and regret. Eight of Swords says that you feel restricted. So whatever that is, whatever is it, words that were spoken with that Knight of Swords energy have created a situation in which there won't be a reconciliation. It's reversed. So it looks like it came out of the blue like a tornado. The Tower card is usually sudden and unexpected, right? So something happened in a relationship. The Five of Cups says that you don't feel satisfied emotionally with where you're at right now. Five of Cups says that you feel as though you owe somebody an apology or you feel as though somebody owes you an apology. And so what I'm seeing here, oops, let's see. With I'm sorry about that. I meant to turn that over sooner. 
So Libra, Libra, here we go. Why do we have the Five of Cups here? Somebody that you're holding on to maybe too tightly. We're getting Seven of Swords. You feel as though you were lied to. The Four of Wands, this was somebody that you felt that you could be ma not married to necessarily, but in a business situation, it would look like a partnership has gone sideways. In a personal relationship, it looks as though you feel as though you didn't get the truth from somebody. You wanted, you felt very stable with this person, but why is the Seven of Swords card here for Libra specifically? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The King of Swords. King of Swords is calling on you to be much more strategic. The King of Swords says, stay calm, carry on. The Sun card means that, um, you know, there's no real ill intention here is what I'm seeing. Six of Pentacles. So I do think with the card of Nine of Swords, regret and remorse, I feel very much, Libra, that... Whatever happened was probably, I mean, you had a part in it, but it does look like for most of you, you felt like you were very much right about something. I'm not sure if you were or weren't, though. When I look at the cards, I would say, you know, I wouldn't get too caught up in this is what I would say. I just really wouldn't. I would just move past it. Because the Tower card, whatever is going to happen, happen. The Three of Wands, you did feel as though you had some sort of future with somebody or a job or a friendship or a business partnership that has come apart. You feel as though you want this person to choose you in the future, but you, you feel pretty restricted by it also. The energy of the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, Knight of, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles says that you're going to focus on your money. You're going to focus on having some fun. We see the Ten of Wands reversed. You don't want anything that carries a burden with it. You're not, um, you haven't really given up the burden. It looks like you're working really hard. You can't let go. But what you are going to do is you're still going to go out and have a lot of fun. I see it being a very successful month for you financially, Libra. Five of Swords with the Six of Wands. It does look as though you're going to take something as a victory that was something that really made you feel. I think it's whatever this situation is over here. This emotional situation. You feel like you're coming out of the month feeling good about yourself. That still haunts you, but by the same token, you feel as though it wasn't. There was something that was inherently unfair about the situation. You're letting it go. The Five of Swords says you still have some anger. The Lover's card says that you wish that different choices had been made. Yeah. The Three of Swords is coming in as a broken-hearted situation with the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, you still are aching over somebody who, from the past, there's some old wounds here going on. That's how I see it. You, you're figuring, you hope they get their karma. I would say this is really not a, it's a, only bits and pieces will apply, I think. But I do feel for most Libras, there's been a very complicated situation. You want to manifest somebody back. Let's see. Let's look, let's look at this transition period here. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. Well, it looks like you're not talking to somebody. You're moving on without them going the distance. What does it mean? The Queen of Wands energy. Okay, so you've got some nice fiery energy. Treasure Isle, you have a worthy goal. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles energy. Ten of Pentacles energy. Sun card. Okay, Libra, what I'm seeing here is an off. You have an unbelievable career reading. Okay? Focus on your career. Whatever all of this complicated, very messy, kind of very karmic cycle that you were in with friends, lovers, it could be a combination, it could be one or the other, but let it go. It's just time to let it go. Let go of the way that you usually process things. It looks as though sometimes you make it worse than it is. Uh, other people could make it worse than it is. Sometimes you try to stay calm and so for Libra, you know, for the most part, you're very calm. I have moon in Libra, so I really understand. Uh, but I do see you feeling, you know, you have some issues with somebody. Uh, but I don't think they're going to be resolved this month and or they already have been resolved and you're both moving 
in different directions away from each other. So let's see what we have here for your Sacred Destiny cards, Libra. All right, let's look at the Sacred Destiny finale for your reading. It's really gorgeous. <gasps> Purity. Look at that, Libra. Purity of heart. Purity of heart. I like that card for you. You really know what you want. You're going for the abundance, man. You are really swinging in your career. You're having happiness. You're having fun. You're finding a new partnership. You're finding different ways of doing things. You're creating a lot of wealth and you're being very flexible to the change that's coming in. You're ready for it. Your, your balloons are taking off. Libra, it's a beautiful reading for you. You're going to have a fabulous month. Um, thorny issues with relationships and different connections, but boy, oh boy, stick to your guns in terms of your career success. It's off the charts. Sending you love. I hope this is helpful. Bye, Libra. Take care. Bye-bye.